Yashar Jasher 84. At that time, Korach, the son of Yetzer, the son of Kohat, the son of Levi, took many men of the children of Yashar'el, and they rose up and quarreled with Moshe and Aharon and the whole assembly. And Yahuwah was angry with them. And the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up with their houses and all belonging to them and all the men belonging to Korach. And after this, Elohim made the people go round by the way of Mount Seir for a long time. At that time, Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Provoke not a war against the children of Esau, for I will not give to you of anything belonging to them, as much as the sole of the foot could tread upon, for I have given Mount Seir for an inheritance to Esau. Therefore did the children of Esau fight against the children of Seir in former times, and Yahuwah had delivered the children of Seir into the hands of the children of Esau and destroyed them from before them. And the children of Esau dwelt in their stead unto this day. Therefore, Yahuwah said to the children of Yashar'el, Fight not against the children of Esau, your brother. Rather, brethren, for nothing in their land belongs to you, but you may buy food of them for money and eat it, and you may buy water of them for money and drink it. And the children of Yashar'el did according to the word of Yahuwah, and the children of Yashar'el went about the wilderness going round by the way of Mount Sinai for a long time and touched not the children of Esau. And they continued in that district for 19 years. At that time died Latinus, king of the children of Ketim, in the 45th year of his reign which is the 14th year of the children of Yashara'el's departure from Mitzrayim. And they buried him in his place, which he had built for himself in the land of Kitim. And Abinas reigned in his place for 38 years. And the children of Yashara'el passed the boundary of the children of Esau in those days at the end of 19 years and they came and passed the road of the wilderness of Moab and Yahuwah said to Moshe besiege not Moab and do not fight against them for I will give you nothing of their land and the children of Yashara'el passed the road of the wilderness of Moab for 19 years, and they did not fight against them. And in the 36th year of the children of Yashara'el's departing from Mitzrayim, Yahuwah smote the heart of Sichon, king of the Amarim, and he waged war and went forth to fight against the children of Moab. And Sichan sent messengers to Beor, the son of Janis, the son of Balaam, counselor to the king of Mitzrayim, and to Balaam, his son, to curse Moab, in order that it might be delivered into the hand of Sichan. And the messengers went and brought Beor, the son of Janis, and Balaam, his son, from Petor, in Aram, Nahari, rather, Nahareim. So Beor and Balaam, his son, 
came to the city of Sihon, and they cursed Moab and their king in the presence of Sihon, king of the Amorim. So Sihon went out with his whole army, and he went to Moab and fought against them, and he subdued them, and Yahuwah delivered them into his hands, and Sihon slew the king of Moab. And Sihon took all the cities of Moab in the battle. He also took Chesban from them, for Chesban was one of the cities of Moab. And Sihon placed his princes and his nobles in Chesban. And Chesban belonged to Sihon in those days. Therefore, the parable speakers Beor and Bilam, his son, uttered these words, saying, Come unto Chesban, the city of Sihon, will be built and established. Woe unto you, Moab, you are lost, O people of Chemosh. Behold, it is written upon the Sefer of the Torah, of Elohim. And when Sihon had conquered Moab, he placed guards in the cities which he had taken from Moab, and a considerable number of the children of Moab fell in battle into the hand of Sihon, and he made a great capture of them, sons and daughters, and he slew their king. So Sihon turned back to his own land, and Sihan gave numerous presents of silver and gold to Beor and Bilam, his son. And he diminished, rather dismissed them. And they went to Aram Naharaim, to their home and country. At that time, all the children of Yasharael passed from the road of the wilderness of Ma'av and returned and surrounded the wilderness of Idam. So the whole assembly came to the wilderness of Sin in the first month of the fortieth year from their departure from Mitzrayim. And the children of Yashar'el dwelt there in Kadesh of the wilderness of Sain, and Miriam died there, and she was buried there. At that time, Moshe sent messengers to Hadad, king of Edom, saying, Thus says your brother Yashar'el, Let me pass, I pray you, through your land. We will not pass through field or vineyard. We will not drink the water of the well. We will walk in the king's road. And Edom said to him, You shall not pass through my country. And Edom went forth to meet the children of Yashar'el with a mighty people. And the children of Esau refused to let the children of Yashar'el pass through their land. So Yashar'el removed from them and fought not against them. For before this, Yahuwah had commanded the children of Yashar'el, saying, you shall not fight against the children of Esau. Therefore Yashar'el removed from them and did not fight against them. So the children of Yashar'el departed from Kadesh and all the people came to Mount Hor. At that time, Yahuwah said to Moshe, Tell your brother Ahran that he shall die there for he shall not come to the land which I have given to the children of Yashar'el. And Aharon went up at the command of Yahuwah to Mount Hor in the fortieth year, in the fifth month, in the first day of the month. And Aharon was 123 years old when he died in Mount Hor.